Microsoft has two new Surface devices, which it says are its first AI-powered Surface PCs built exclusively for business, the Surface Pro 10 and Surface Laptop 6. But before you get too excited, I'll repeat that they're built for business, and more specifically, businesses that are keen to boost employee productivity using AI, and even more specifically, Microsoft's Copilot AI Assistant. You should feel free to take a drink whenever I say AI, but let's begin with the updated Surface Pro 10, Microsoft's 13-inch Windows tablet PC with a 2880 by 1920 pixel sense flow touchscreen with a dynamic refresh rate of up to 120 hertz and a max brightness of 600 nits. The big update here, though, is a new anti-reflective coating to make it easier to use outdoors or under bright fluorescence in your office. There's also a new AI-enhanced 1440p ultra-wide Surface Studio camera that supports Windows Studio effects and has a 114-degree field of view. Those effects include background blur and auto-reframing, which will come in handy with such a wide camera. The AI processing, whether that's for the camera or local co-pilot use, is going to be handled by the neural processing unit that's part of the new Intel Core Ultra processors Microsoft used for this update. The MPU helps accelerate AI tasks, but also helps with battery since it doesn't hit power as hard as the CPU and GPU, and Microsoft claims up to 19 hours of battery life on this. There's a new detachable keyboard that adds a Copilot quick launch key. It's not included and neither is a Surface Slim pen, but you'll probably want at least one of them if not both. There are three other things to appeal to enterprise and commercial users, an NFC reader for use with security keys like a YubiKey, and Microsoft added QR codes inside for repair instructions and icons that will tell you the number of screws and the driver you'll need to remove them. And lastly, you'll be able to get a 5G wireless version. The new Surface Laptop 6, available in 13.5 and 15 inch sizes, gets some of the same features as the Surface Pro 10, like the simplified repairs and replaceable parts, the Copilot key on the keyboard, the anti reflective screen, and the Intel Core Ultra processors. But Microsoft used H series versions for stronger performance, but it's still claiming up to 19 hours of battery life. There are two other differences. Uh, one, the studio camera drops to a 1080p resolution and there's no NFC, but you can get them with integrated smart card readers. Again, the Copilot integration is nearly as big as the hardware updates here, letting you do everything from summarizing papers and crafting emails to changing system settings without needing to know where to find them in the settings. Uh, Microsoft also launched its adaptive accessories for commercial customers, improving accessibility for Surface devices and other devices. Those include a new Surface keyboard with bold key legends and brighter backlighting. The new Surface Pro 10 and Laptop 6 are available to pre-order now and are expected to ship in April. But again, since these are business devices, pricing is going to be higher than they normally would be for consumer devices. The Surface Pro 9 starts around $1,100 and I would expect the same for the 10. So what do you think? Would you be interested in seeing consumer versions of these devices in the future? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and you'll see me when you see me.